Hey Mike, what's up? Oh hey Dave. What are you doing? Well I was just sitting here thinking. About what? Just how different things are now. Yeah, you're telling me. Man, if I could go back in time, do you know how rich I'd be right now? Well I meant problem society had in general. I was thinking of oil in particular. Oh yeah, that was a real time bomb waiting to go off, huh? Yeah! I was watching a special about it on TV last night and it was a real eye-opener. Better than me. I fell asleep watching some game show in Spanish. Well, I was surprised about everything it was saying. Like that during the 20th century, we basically drained all the largest oil deposits around the globe except for Siberia and the Middle East. And even then, there were many indications that the global oil supply was getting ready to peak. Our discovery of new oil fields had actually been declining slowly ever since the 60s. The new deposits we were finding were worth billions of barrels, but that wouldn't have lasted our consumption rate for more than a few months. The United States alone have been sucking down more than 20 billion barrels annually. Breathe deep. We were scrambling. We were already desperate enough to turn to tar sands, which was a more wasteful way of extracting the oil. We were even looking at oil shale deposits which took more energy to extract than we got back from the oil itself. It's like trying to put out a fire by burning down another building. We should have just burned it all. Burn everything. Plus, on top of the US and Europe, Burn. China and India were just starting to come online, which only escalated the problem. Burn. All of modern society was dependent on cheap oil, and we were content to drive it off a cliff when it ran out. The average person wasn't even aware there was a problem. It wasn't going to be until they could no longer afford to drive to work, shop at stores, or buy groceries. Good luck trying to maintain peace and order then. We could have been facing practical anarchy and famine wars. Civilization might have reverted to how the Amish live, except everyone would have had guns and been trying to kill each other. I never really thought of the Amish that way. It's incredible. We had almost no backup plan in place at all. I mean, we saw this coming miles away. But most of our political leaders were jerking around pursuing impractical options, if not ignoring the problem entirely. We already had enormous energy and transportation needs. Alternatives like hydrogen cars and a fuel cell infrastructure were still just a pipe dream. Conventional ethanol production wasn't practical on the scale that we needed it, and even accelerated the impending hunger problem. I guess it seems obvious now, but the most sane solution would have been a massive shift to electric vehicles and widespread adoption of power plants based on renewable energy to help pick up the slack. Plus, that wouldn't have hurt our air quality any. But no, that would have made sense. Can't have that. Hell, we almost had it coming. Bad, monkey. Yep, it was looking pretty bad. But then... Aliens from outer space showed up and started attacking the Earth. They decimated our defenses in a matter of hours, forcing us to surrender. And the aftermath left us with over 80% of the population dead, and the rest of humanity conquered on its own planet. And suddenly, it's like, BOOM! Problem solved. I'll give you that. Killing off 5 billion people did wonders for solving most of our social problems. It sure did! Now there are no politics! You either do what the government says, or you die! And what do you know? Now most of our energy is renewable, there's enough food for everyone, and crime is at its lowest in recorded history. It's a total U-turn. And don't forget about pollution or global warming. We now have air quality comparable to before the Industrial Revolution. Remember, your decomposing corpse puts out less greenhouse gases than your hybrid car. <laughs> I think. Yeah, good thing we don't have to worry about any of that stuff anymore. Yep. It still kind of bites being ruled by aliens, though. Eh, it's not so bad. As long as they keep signing my paychecks, that's all I care about. Well, how about knowing that most of the people you ever knew in your life are all dead now? Nah, they all sucked anyway. Hey, uh, what's with the machine gun? Oh, I was gonna try fishing with it. 